So these are the latest pictures of Comet 3A Atlas that I took from my backyard. And I was looking at the ion tail. Let me run the time lapse for you. And the plasma, the ion tail that I was looking at, the recent information that is coming out. And I was also looking at the new European Space Agency's Clipper mission and the data that came out. And I was also looking at what happened to that Mars orbiter. So I'm putting together all this information, so I'm collecting some data to understand what's going on. So I'm going to share what I have so far. I'll stick around, it's going to be quite exciting. So Comet 3i Atlas is now heading towards Jupiter. And we wanted to talk today about the ion tail and the impact of it. So 3i Atlas was going all the way to Jupiter. It was close to Mars. And it passed Mars, it passed Earth. And now it is going towards Jupiter. I'll give you one more view of the same. So right now, this is Earth here. And December 19th, Comet 3 Atlas was here. And now Comet 3 Atlas is now slowly moving from this lane all the way and going towards Jupiter. So with the time when it reaches Jupiter is like somewhere between March 15th through March 19th. It's quite far where 3 Atlas is from Jupiter right now and it is flying at the incredible speed to reach there. We are 63 days away from approaching Jupiter. So when it comes close to Jupiter on March 15th through March 19th, it is going to be roughly around roughly around 0.35 astronomical units. When it approached Mars, it was at 0.22 AU. When it is coming close to Jupiter, it is going at 0.35 AU. If it goes as close as Mars, it would have got attracted by Jupiter's gravity. So it knows exactly how far the distance it has to maintain. And for some reason, it didn't like Earth. It wanted to stay away from Earth. So it is flying at 1.8 AU, too far. If it uh, flew any closer than what it did, I think we will have a lot more drama here at Earth if 3i was going that close to us. So right now, it is at a distance of 2.8 astronomical units from Sun. So it's almost like three times. Uh, from Earth to the Sun distance, right? One astronomical unit is from Earth to the Sun distance. So it's almost like three times. From Earth, it is around 2 AU. So notice that. Right now, it is at 2 AU. Today is January the 11th. So when it came closer on December 19th, it was at 1.8 AU. So it traveled almost 0.2 AU within a matter of few days, like 23 days, which is, it, it travels at an incredible speed. And within 63 days, it is going to travel so fast from where it is right now. So for to Jupiter, it is at 1.6, right? So 1.6 minus that 0.3, which is 1.3, right? So it has to fly 1.3 astronomical units in 63 days. Normally, with like no rockets, no other comets, no asteroids, none of them fly at that speed. I think there is only one comet within the solar system that went faster than this comet. Let's look at the remaining numbers. The speed at which it is flying right now is at 46.9 kilometers per second. That's incredibly fast. 
and visual magnitude is at 11, which is odd because we were at like around 10 AU, like 23 days ago. It didn't actually reduce the brightness at all. Usually comets lose a lot of brightness, but it actually stayed, it's going to keep up the brightness for a while. I think we might be expecting the brightness to go down to like 16 magnitude. That's what we are expecting right now. So, but visual magnitude is 11, which is kind of like really bright still. We can't see without telescopes. Okay, the speed again per hour, it is 105 thousand miles per hour. When we drive our cars, we drive 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour. This is flying at 105,000 miles per hour. So this is an incredible view. So it is, it started from there, it is right now going towards here, right? So three atlas is here. So that's the path it took all the way down. Did you notice how efficient the path is? and how many planets it was able to touch. So if we send our Voyager, our aircrafts and our spacecrafts to another solar system, we wanted to maximize the travel distance. We wanted to maximize the efficiency. So we pick a path which is going to help us touch so many planets, but we are not going everywhere to reach those places. So this path that it took is a very intelligent path. Everyone is looking at these trips and we were like, okay, so hold on a second. How did somebody efficiently draw this line so that it can touch Mars, get closer to Sun as much as it can, closer to Earth, right? Not too close. And now going towards Jupiter. Actually, yeah, so it, it's like, it's like something that is made uh, like a conscious choice that was made. But if it is not technological, this is a pretty random event, then it is very low probability of this happening so quickly. So again, we found this comet June 14th, July 1st. You know, basically they started taking pictures. We started taking pictures by July 14th or something, we found a tiny dot and then it went behind the sun. When it came closer to Mars and even prior to that a little bit, we started taking pictures again. That was incredible. And October 29, it was closer to sun, but it flew quite far from sun. And December 19th, when it came really close to Earth, we took fantastic pictures using our uh, Hope Backyard telescopes, which is an incredible opportunity for us. I don't think we'll ever get those kind of pictures anymore. I wanted to share this incredible information with you now. The three atlas is going towards Jupiter right now as we speak. So back in November, if we take a look at it, so there are two important things. So three atlas is right now here, and the Europa Clipper is down here. You see that? So this is as of today. Right, so if I go back in time, so now it is moving quite fast. And you notice three atlas and Europa Clipper are coming closer and closer to each other. I'm getting closer to them. So you will see it. Okay. So this is November 6th. We wanted to go... Okay, so this is November 6th view of where these two are. So we wanted to see, let me show you a different view. So this is three atlas and this is Europa Clipper and it is trying to take a picture. And when you get closer to the So 
three atlas you will see the tail the Okay, I think I need to go back a little bit. Europa Clipper is here. Watch this. October 29 is when I was noticing this. On October 29 or yeah, something like this. You see that? the tail of three atlas is completely showering the europa clipper and they took a picture from there so i wanted to do one more thing i wanted to compare three atlas to not compare the measure the distance between these two they are 150 million kilometers apart so the the tail the iron tail that we are projecting is quite longer than that that's what it is it's very interesting how the data is coming out so if i zoom out and bring back the europa clipper tail it's like right there right that's 150 million miles or sorry 150 million kilometers So here is the interesting comment from the astrobiology website and it is predicted that Europa Clipper will potentially be immersed within the ion tail of 3i atlas. So they clearly said that and I believe there are other uh, like these papers that was saying that to examine the three atlas as it moves yeah this one is also talking about the uv uv instrument yeah so this is also talking the same thing like this is from the nasa's website and it talks about the 3i atlas has going through the comet scoma cloud dust and gas and it's um you know how far it is from and they actually release the picture that they took there definitely there could be something going on there we need to collect more data but this is what i have for now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do Uh, click on the like button and uh, notifications button uh, if you want to give me a high great thank you very much see you all in the next video